everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we are testing another fake tan. I haven't heard this before but this is the Mind Tan in Super Dark Coffee. And yeah, without further ado, let's just get started. So I saw this fake tan in Savers, this was $4.99 and they had an ultra dark and I was like, mm, that's a bit risky, don't really want to be that dark. This is the super dark one, I didn't see any other shades and it's a one hour express tan or you can leave it on longer. Um, I've never heard of mine tan but I obviously looked it up before I bought it and quite a few people have reviewed it so I wanted to give it a go. So you literally have this little thing here, it's coffee scented, streak free, self tan for all skin types which is great. Um, it's a foam one which is even better for me and it gives you like a little diagram of what it will look like if you leave it on for one hour then is it two hours and then three hours so I'm going to leave it on for as long as I can depending on what it looks like after an hour obviously I'll check back with you guys and yeah. So I'm completely free of any fake tan at the moment. It has all come off. I'm gonna quickly run and moisturize. I've had a bath this morning so my skin is clean. Um, I'm gonna use just the Vaseline Cocoa Radiant Butter because I love the smell of this and it seems to soak in my skin nicely. So give me five minutes and I'll be right back. Had to get a new tanning mitt yesterday because my tanning mitt actually ripped completely again. I haven't even had that long. I don't know why they do that. But um, I gently washed them and they still just, I don't know. This is from Poundland, this is the Just Right one. Oh, it's a cute colour, so first impressions. I'm Oh, it feels really thick and strong, that's always a bonus. Um, I've moisturised, so everything is nice and soft. I have a blanket around me because I'm actually really cold. So I am sitting in my sports bra, so I can't blame myself for being cold. But I am so ready to give this a go now my moisturiser has soaked in. Okay, I've given it a good shake. I'm gonna pop some on my mitt. I wonder if it's clear or it's dark. Oh no, it's dark. Comes out like a normal tan. Definitely smells like coffee. I'm gonna start with my arm so you guys can see. Oh my God, I'm quite scared. I will take my um, sports bra off and obviously do my chest and stuff. But um, yeah, this is going on nicely. Like, kind of like the smell of coffee, so it's okay. But it's definitely darkened already, oh my God. You can see the difference on the top of my arm. I'm just making sure it's all rubbed in before I add any more. Yeah, I definitely smell like Costa right now or Starbucks. So, I mean, I'm not complaining. It could it could smell worse. Some fake tans smell horrendous, like, honestly. I wonder if you can see a difference yet. Because my arm's half tattooed. It's quite hard to see if you're tanning or not. So let me have a look. Mm -hmm. It's definitely darkened ever so slightly, but obviously it needs to develop and it takes an hour. So I'm going to pop off camera, do my body and I'll come back just before and then we'll wait an hour. So it's been a good 20 minutes. Uh, my mitt is looking lovely. So um, it's a very cool toned foam. Like some are warm toned browns, if that makes any sense. This one's more cool toned. There is no green undertones or anything to it, which I'm not complaining about. It started to develop very slowly on my arms and stuff, which I'm not complaining. It isn't sticky, it's dried. And I definitely smell like Costa, so I'm not complaining. It doesn't smell awful. If you don't like the smell of coffee, I won't recommend this to you. But personally, I think it kind of smells nice and it's different, like a coffee scented fake tan. Like, who wouldn't want that? And I also just tried the whole spatula and mitt trick to do my back. And yeah, that went kind of well, I guess. It kind of worked. My legs have started to bronze and it's only been about 15 minutes. So I'm going to leave this on for an hour and I'll be back to show you guys how much it's developed. Remember, this is a super dark. If I get the ultra dark or if you want me to get the ultra dark one, let me know. Um, I'm a little bit too scared to try that yet, but we will see you guys in an hour. So, I spent my lovely hour watching the rest of Doctor Who while my tan dried. Um, it's definitely bronzed up a bit. It's a very cool toned brown, which I quite like. It's very bronze and natural. So, like, if you're fair skinned, I'd say this is actually really good for you. It's not super dark. I was expecting it to be a lot darker and it isn't. So, I'm pretty pleased with that. Although, I do want it a little bit darker. So, I'm either going to leave this on a little bit longer. But I feel like I want to add another layer. Um, because it's not super dark at all. Like, it's definitely bronzed me up. And give me a really nice glow on my skin, on my face. But, like, I still like it a little bit darker 
And overall, the smell is actually kind of nice. If you don't like coffee, then this is not for you because, I mean, if you're not a fan of the smell of coffee, then I do not recommend. Overall, I'd give this an 8 out of 10. I've let this develop for an hour, so obviously it's still got another few hours to develop if I want it to. And by the way, if you want to wash it off, only rinse off for 45 seconds. This is what it says on here. Um, it literally just needs quick rinse off. So if you're going to chuck yourself in the bath, then literally just get out. That's probably what I'm going to do, to be honest. But I want to put another layer on so it's a little bit darker. Oh, I didn't realize it has coconut water in it as well, which I swear is pretty good for you. But all, all overall... Yeah, we got there. Um, 8 out of 10. I do like this tan. It's very natural. So I'm going to give it a rating. And it's not streaky at all. So I'm very pleased with the results of that. And my hands don't look disgusting and orange like they have done with certain tans I've used in the past. So I hope you enjoyed this other testing one. We have a new, another fake tan to test. Um, definitely look out for it. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.